did someone say reward everyone loves them you love them you're getting rewarded for watching this i'm getting rewarded by having you share this time with me and giving you the insights you need rewards 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 or rewards i can't really say that three times fast we're going to talk about a reward system called random rewards and this is something that always blows me away when we look at the psychology of it. Random rewards are those bits of joy, those gifts, those things that are sprinkled within the experience that you have. These allow you to have so much of a favorable experience because you're actually moving through the process. This is when participants of the system, whether it be your mobile app, your video game, website, whatever that may be, this is where they are rewarded for completing a series of actions. However, they have no clue of what that reward will be and when they will actually receive it. That's the great part of this random reward system because there are situations where users are excited at the thought of something will unlock something will happen as i continue to play you experience this in first person shooter games online games legendary games let's say mario for the example you're moving along you're running right along right and you jumping in this tunnel or you moving through these levels and you're just going about your way moving out of the way of these turtles you are banging your head against these bricks so that you can get these coins. There's a lot that's happening. And as you're experiencing the game for what it is, you start to then understand that certain things surface. You receive a flower that pops up out of here, which then allows you to start spitting out these fireballs. Bloop, 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 bloop. I don't mean hot breath either. I mean, these are actual fireballs, but you know, I digressed. You start to understand the value in you just exploring, you just experiencing things for what they are. There's so many things that are hidden. It's like a surprise gift at the end. More on the psychology side of it, the idea that these elements are so unpredictable. They can't really pinpoint when they'll receive it and what it will be. It keeps users hooked and engaged to understand the the idea of discovery. That's where the gaming mechanics happen. We've used the example of Mario Brothers or any game for that matter, but let's take that to your app. Let's use it as an example of reference. You're creating an app like Foursquare, where you check into locations, you share your experience of what is happening there at that location. In the ideal world, let's say if you are using that app to do checkpoints to understand the experience that is happening there, then should you do that the first time, the second time, third time, 10th time, you can then unlock something else. Maybe you're able to send video this time. Instead of it just being a review or text edit, you can live stream within that app because you've unlocked them, showing that you already going and checking into these spaces. These are little things, little rewards to incentivize users to continue to play within the system. That equal system of one, knowledge, and two, experience is heightened for users. And we're all craving for something new and exciting. That is the joy of our lives. As we commit to it and we continue to engage, that becomes the heightened experience of enjoyment. If you could take that one thing, that random reward sort of ideology, how? Comment below, how would you incorporate it in your product? How would you want to see it integrated? You can take a look at some of the products that you actually use, some of the apps that you use, your banking app. Every time you log in to check it, you may see a number, hoping to see a different one. I've been there. That is one experience. But let's say you then transact within that app. One is viewing, one is actually transacting. 
whether you send Zelles to and fro, make a withdrawal or deposit, upload a check, you take a snapshot and, and do all of these things. The goal is to then reward you for increased engagement within the application. That's where gamification comes into play. I have a couple of quick tips about gamification and how you can integrate it that into your products. Comment below, game of fun, game of fun, not game of fire, not game of fresh, not game of, f <laughs> we won't use that. Download those quick tips and you to experience it on your own. See which tips works for you and see how they can be incorporated into your next project. If I can help you get the best value out of your product and out of your service and help you level up into a space where people engage a little bit more because of some of the things we're talking about here, then I've done you a service and myself as well. Don't forget to subscribe because we'll release a lot more videos talking about this topic of gamification and helping you level up. But until then, consider sharing it with someone you Phil can get the value out of it too. Your life has color, so make sure to design it that way and we'll gamify it in the process. <laughs> <laughs>